Let's I go back on my word to Brennan and Rachel. Whichever one stays is gunning for me. It's fewer enemies, but I've gone back on my word and my word means nothing to anybody else. Option three. Don't win head of household. Best case scenario, Brendan, Brendan or Rachel win. They put up. Hayden, Lane, or Kristen in any combo. No blood is on my hands. One of the power players I want out of the house is out of the house. That would be the best case scenario. Lose out of household or throw it. Anybody else besides Brendan or Rachel when head of household? They'll probably put Brendan or Rachel up. <sighs> Meaning both of them would have a chance to play for power of veto. One would likely win. And chances are I would go up as a replacement. I think that one of them would still go home, but... They would do everything they could to see me leave because they want to be in the jury house together to get romantical until September. It's a vacation for them to be together and to fuck like bunnies. But everybody knows that's what they would do. So I think that no matter what theatrics or lies or whatever they used, to try to get people to vote me out of the house instead of one of them, think people would see through it, I could garner sympathy, and it might make one of them an even bigger target. If I played cool during the whole thing, and everybody knows that they've already done a bunch of dramatic stuff so far to try to manipulate the game. So my head is telling me not to win the head of household because either of those latter two scenarios is better than either scenario I can imagine 
if I win. The only thing pulsing through my head is if I could win this next head of household. But through it, and then got voted out week four. I would live in a world of big brother regret. And if I could win and through it and got voted out any time in the future without playing this game and winning head of household at least once, that's another world of regret.